Ho, ho, Merry New Year, fellow naughty steppers. I hope you've had a fantastic start to 2018. And it's time to crack on with yet another year of intense music appreciation. It's been nearly a week since I uploaded some review content, which I apologize for. I uploaded a very brief update video a couple of days ago, but besides that, I haven't been able to do any review stuff simply because I've been spending a lot of time getting used to this new bit of toolkit, which I hope you can appreciate in terms of the upgrade in quality. And I really hope you can see the difference because if you can't, then I'm gonna be fucking pissed. But yes, cracking on with the review and the first of 2018, drum roll please, comes from Audio Records, which is a new dubstep inspired label. And this is the issue one compilation, the first thing that is being released on this label. Now, the first thing that confused me a little bit about this record label in principle was its title, Audio, which in Spanish means I hate. And I had a very brief Twitter discussion with the guys there and they said that it's actually in relation to the Japanese phonetic for the word audio. So there's a nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little uh, thing for you. Suddenly my interest was piqued and it was after this that I asked them very briefly who the founder of this new label was, to which I had no response, but maybe that's something they want to keep under the radar for the time being, who knows. Moving on to the analysis of the music itself, I think it's very rare that you're going to find a compilation where you like every song, extremely rare in fact. So I didn't come into this thing with too much expectation, especially considering it was a completely fresh label. But I can safely say, having listened to this thing at least three times the whole way through now, that it is a fantastic and varied mix of different styles within the dubstep genre. Even from looking at this track list before listening to the compilation, I knew that it was going to be quite varied and wide ranging in terms of the approaches in production to the dubstep genre. I mean, it features the likes of Attic, Our Enemies, Spitfire, all of whom have their own way and manner when it comes to producing dubstep music. And this goes without even mentioning the other 16 or 15 artists that are included in this compilation. The very gripping and seismic opening from Guillotine definitely lets the listener know what they're in for and sets up the rest of the compilation in a very emphatic and enthralling way. In terms of the wide array of styles and different directions that this compilation goes off in, as aforementioned within the dubstep genre, it covers a lot from the more melodic tracks of Sekai and Misfit Massacre to the rhythm tracks of Yari and La Lion and Larson. And then beyond that to the more visceral and hard hitting stuff, the acidic graphite track or the more epic and storytelling Spitfire one towards the end of this compilation. Therefore, when looking at these artists, moreover, I realized that they were all quite under the radar and aspiring, fantastic up and comers who were doing extremely well, but aren't quite at the top yet. Plus a couple I hadn't heard before, I must admit. And whilst I undeniably liked some songs more than others, I feel like there were memorable parts within each and every one. Whether it was the vocal samples or the build-ups or specific elements of the drop, I'm pretty sure that I could find parts within each and every one of these tracks that made me want to listen to it somewhat. And on that note of the vocal samples, those little cheeksters used by Le Lion and Larson in their tracks are downright hilarious. But yes, as I said, there were some that I preferred more than others. And there were a couple of the tracks in this thing that I definitely feel could have been refined a little bit more in terms of attention to detail and the coherence between the ideas. And in terms of my favorites, I'd have to start off with the fantastically contorted and twisted Our Enemies track, followed closely by the oozy Pain Muir tune and then the grungy Zenith tune, the quirky Yari tune, and then to finish off with that previously mentioned Spitfire tune, which is a real rasper. But yeah, overall, with this Audio Records issue one compilation, I would undoubtedly say that this is the most songs that I have really enjoyed from a compilation as a whole in a long while. Because in my opinion, what other compilations have failed to do in recent past is really keep the listener interested by varying up the types of dubstep or whatever genre it is that is the main focal point of that compilation in question. A lot of compilations like to stick to one subgenre within that more wider reaching, bigger genre. 
and I just don't feel like it's necessary. Maybe Audio Records is just in that good position right now where it can release whatever it wants considering it is in its infancy. But yeah, I think a lot of record labels could really take after audio here for the way that they have given listeners a collection of songs, hardly any of which sound similar or the same in any way at all. And I couldn't finish on my thoughts with issue one before discussing the artwork, which is powerful in its black and white format with the comic book-esque background. I just think it's a nice combination of styles with the red Japanese lettering at the front, making for a very clean and sharp look. And if you've seen the artwork also for the new Guillotine EP, which is being released on audio within the next week or so, then you'll know that they've got a theme going and they're onto something. They're certainly onto something. But yeah, if anyone knows who founded Audio Records, then hit me up. I have a feeling it's either Our Enemies or Attic, because they were posting a lot about issue one on Instagram and on various other social media. But it could be both of them together, who knows? To be honest, I'm just really happy that a label like this one has surfaced, where all the artists seem to be on a very similar level and there's no sense of hierarchy or better or worse. It's just a load of artists that are quite underground, quite under the radar, producing their art and trying to get it much more well known within the realm of dark electronic music in general. They cannot be ignored. And what I was keen to do with all of my reviews from 2018 was give a little if you like this then you will also like that mention at the end of each video but I genuinely don't feel like I can do that with this one such is the uniqueness of it. The sheer variation and exploration in style and subgenres within a more overarching main genre. But yeah, those are my thoughts on issue one by Audio Records. And that concludes my first review of 2018. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you have been enjoying the content so far and have bought into the Naughty Step concept. And also get following across social media, which I will link in the description box below. I mentioned this briefly in my update video, but there is so much coming out in the next couple of weeks in terms of EPs. Uh, if there's anything else that you would like me to do with the videos, then please leave a comment down below. I'm talking like a favourite dubstep songs ever, or a segment on my collaborations that I would really love to see, or a tracks of the week. Anything, literally, whatever comes to your mind, just let me know and I'll try and get on it. And this all ties into my communication with you guys and getting the discussion growing and our analysis of dark electronic music and you know trying to give it as i've said in previous videos the respect and attention to detail that it deserves it starts here people be sure to comment with any especially naughty tracks that you've heard at the beginning of this year because never forget if it's naughty then you know keep it naughty guys and stay safe peace